there, folks. My name is Walt, and welcome to Lie Eat, the Lighting Dragon and the Vermilion Vampire. As you can see, there are police crawling all over the place, and we're going to talk to the people in here, see if we can find out a bit more. Hmm. Munch. What? You want some of these, too? Yeah. Oh, well, mm, all right, but only if you can tell me info of equivalent value. Info? Info! Information! This is business, my dear! You must repay me for what I'm giving you. Hmm. What would be good? Let's see. Ah! Tell me about him, the big one. Tell me his weakness. Weaknesses? Um... He can't handle bears. He gets woozy. Oh, he can't handle beer. He gets woozy right away. Oh! Also, he told me he doesn't really like spicy foods. I see. And he lies all the time. I know that! Hmm, so, if I somehow summon him and somehow make him have beer and something spicy, I can defeat him. That's true! You're smart, lady! Here's your cookie payment. Say thanks. Yay! Hmm, on equal standing with a little girl. She has much to learn. <laughs> so I got a cookie! Alright, oh! Lie! Eat the lie! I beat up three guys yesterday. Yeah, I think that's a lie. <laughs> Whoever said that is bragging and sucks. Uh, all right, leveled up. Nice. Yep. <laughs> I haven't eaten a truth yet, so I don't know. I'm fully investigated the area. Lie. Because we all know cops suck. Wait, I was... Huh. I was actually kind of uh, expect... God, there are like lies everywhere. There's not enough to go around. Of what? A uh, lie. Attack it. Little lie. Attack the little lie. Alright, so, uh, let's go ahead and see if there's anything in the library. Um, we have not. Everyone. Let's see. Les Van. 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 Vampire! That's not it. Vampire? Vem. Vem. Vamborn? I give up. Can't read it all. Huh? A photo? Seems kind of old. It's a man, a boy, and a girl. Something's on the back. God, I can't read it though. Is it okay if I take this? Papa said that when you get your hands on something, it's yours. So I'm taking it. Wow, Leo, you are the best father ever. I was a better father in Bioshock 2. I'm bored of books. Let's go somewhere else. All right, uh, and I think since we got that photo, perhaps maybe we can now take that to Leo. Uh, is Leo perhaps in here? No. Uh, okay. Not in there, so maybe something over here. Oh! Hello! Dude, that's a sword. That's a big sword. Mm. Hey, what are you reading? What's it say? Hmm? You can't read yet. Oh, no, wait. You can't read yet? Nope, I'm trying, but not a word. I see. Can I teach you some? Yeah! Sure! Then let's see. Hmm. This is town. Town! Correct. This is Loveberry. Raspberry, Ramberry, Loveberry. Correct. Alright, this is Vampire. Vampire. All correct. Congrats. Hooray! Whenever you're curious about something, look it up right away. You're most likely to remember doing it yourself rather than being taught. I have this too. Cries for your efforts. Candy! Thanks! All right, that guy was nice. I liked him. All right, but we were looking for... Where's Leo? Let's see. Leo, Leo, Leo. Where in God's name is Leo? Uh... Let's... I don't know where Leo is. Oh, no. Oh, maybe he's, uh, looking in... Nope. Oh. Shame the chick had to die, but whatever. Moves the plot along. Let's see. Where's Leo? I get the feeling I'm supposed to hand the picture to him. Uh, oh, may I talk to these? On a stroll? Yep! I see. Don't wander off too far, please. Uh, okay, maybe I talk to Rachel, because, I mean, if Leo can't talk to her... Effie? Yoo-hoo! Not gonna play today? Outside? Well, I can't leave my room. Because my brother tells me not to. Oh, well, let's talk then. Okay. So, you... You've never left this room? Well, 
it's only when outsiders are here in town. But even when there aren't any, I can only go on walks at night. Why? I don't know, but my brother goes out a lot at night. When I woke up last night, I saw him go out. Why? I don't know. Hey, what's that photo? Oh, this? It was stuck in the cover of a book in the library. That's me and my brother. Oh? Hmm, it's kind of faded, but now you mention it, it does look like you, Rachel. Can you read what it says on the back? Yeah, it's my name and brothers, and the other one is our father, maybe? It says Giel. So she can read! Nice! My brother said there weren't even any photos left from back then, though. Is your brother a liar? Yeah, he never tells me anything. Is it really fun to get to talk with you? Oh, it's really fun to get to talk with you, Effie. When anyone comes, my brother says not to talk. Leo tells me to shut up all the time, too. So we're buds! Yeah, that's right. I heard a lot from noisy talking outside today. Did something happen? Huh? You don't know? Someone uh, died last night. I see. Again. Hmm? I'm getting kind of sleepy. Will you talk to me again? Yeah, sure. Oh ho ho, so we got some juicy information. I think now I bet we can find Leo if we go to our house. No, we can't. Because God knows we can't do anything. Okay, so maybe now if I go here, it's just blood. No, it's not blood, it's the love berry juice. Right, so where am I heading then? Somewhere, someone. Where would Leo be? I mean... And... Hello? Mistress, eating so much all at once is really... Are you listening? Milk Tea Town, huh? I wonder where that is. <laughs> Apparently she's enjoying the cookie we gave her. Well, I guess cookie is if she's eating more than one, but uh... Okay, seriously, where the hell am I going now? I uh, may I gotta talk to the brother again. On a, oh, nope. Okay, so maybe up here. Nope. Um, well, I am stuck. I don't want to be stuck, but I am absolutely stuck. Do I still have the photo? I do. Okay. Perhaps that will be important when the time comes. I need to find where I'm looking. In here. Aha! Hmm? It's you. On your own now? Yep! I see. Has he done anything to you? Why do you ask? People and dragons working together is a very rare occasion. About how much do you know about dragons? I don't know. I mean, I don't really know anything about myself. I see. Then I'll tell you what I know. Oh. Horns and wings! Are you able to pull these out freely? Well, I can, but it wears me out, and they're really wonky-shaped. So, still unstable. It doesn't particularly require anything but a simple application of force, but... The, they're the symbols of being a dragon. Hmm? Stop making that face like it's really tasty. Eat it all, I don't mind. Hmm, you cop guys have really good cake. Cupcake. Cupcake! There are different kinds of dragons. I don't remember any of the same kind as me. And you're... I eat lies! I can taste flavor, but if it's not a lie, it doesn't fill me up. Why's that? Another unique kind of dragon, then. It always seems that dragons are always born for a special reason. We're trying to find out what th that is ourselves, but we still don't know. Are there lots of dragons? Yeah, there are a few dozen in the custody of the police. Custody? Hmm, alright. We're protecting them. Protecting? As I said before, it's very rare for dragons and humans live together. Our police force is a special one which cooperates with people, but I don't much trust humans. For, from what we know, there's a good chance of dragon eggs appearing before humans. But then they're sold as decorations or as slaves, 
and many have been stolen. Slaves? Decorations? Made to work for someone. It's not being treated well. Do you get the picture? When I was born too, I was locked in a cage for show. But the captain saved me, and after that he let me on the force. We also work to rescue dragons like Brett who are being treated unjustly. Why do people do that to dragons? Due to rarity, we're dragons, so we don't know exactly why. But it's rare to see a dragon like you trust people and works with them. Though I certainly don't consider him a person all that's all worth trusting. Brett. Still, if you believe in him, in Teobaldo Leonhardt, we won't interfere. Oh god, I'm just sticking with Leo, Jesus. But I would recommend being ready for anything when you work with a human. So, try not to get bullied. Yes, but there's a difference in lifespans. Dragons are ordinarily rather long-lived, so it very likely he would die before you. I've experienced this myself. So, if you should ever be left all alone, you can come to us. We'll then gladly protect you in his stead. Got it! I'm sorry if I made you feel lonely with that remark, but it's a long while off. Until then, you should cherish every day, minute, and second with those you value. Okay, I'll cherish Papa! <laughs> that thing you said, Telepod Lion Pants or something? Is that Papa's real name? Teobaldo Leonhardt. Don't tell me he didn't even tell you his real name. Teobaldo Leonhardt. That's one pathetic name. Thanks. Right. Sorry to prattle on. You have our support. Papa. Does he make her call him, call him her pa father? Alright. Ah! So this is where you got to runt. Leo! Had enough fun? Anything of note? Um, well, I did this and this and blah blah. Ah, I see. I'll make a note of this photo and the rest. I wonder if this will do. What are we doing? Talking to a certain liar. Let's go. Hey, Leo? What? Do you like me? Name three things I like. Um, money, beer, and women. Correct. And I'm a woman! No, you're just a brat. So, do you hate me? Yeah, hate your guts. What? Idiot, if I hated you, I wouldn't be catering you around with me. Would I? Oh, you lied about hating me, so that means you like me. I like you too. Well, that was a lie too. Which is it? The opposite of a lie about a not lie behind the behind of a not lies love. Let me try that sentence again. The opposite of a lie about a not lie behind the behind of a not lies lie. Try saying that three times fast. I dare you right now. The yeah, exactly. Let's go. All right, so I think it's about time we confronted this uh, vermilion vampire. <sighs> oh, excuse me. It's getting dark already, so I'm feeling drowsy. I'd like to talk some. Is now all right? Oh, yes, though my brain might be a bit slow, if you insist, Detective. Detective? Leo's a scam- eh? Good. Now then, I'd like to repeat what you told me earlier today. Also, if you could tell me what happened after you heard the scream. Uh, um, last night I was reading, then I nodded off. I heard a scream, so, um, I heard a scream which woke me up, then I locked the front door. I never went outside at all. It would have been dangerous if the wolf got inside. You told some lies there. I'll explain after we take care of this. He smells like lies, but I don't know. If you're not sure, check my notes to remember what you've heard. Why do you never tell me the answer when you know it already, Leo? Because you'll never progress from idiocy if I just tell you. Makes sense! I'll do my best! Okay, so... That is a lie, because we know for a fact that we know from his sister that he went outside. Oh, and Leo. Wow, okay. Big. What? Oh, okay, so he did actually go outside then. Or he did not off. 
But that... Okay, so the fact that he went outside is the lie, then. So I was wrong about that. Wait, did we really just miss on both attacks? Thank you. Alright, that was the lie. I locked the front door. Oh, why not? Let's see. It's quicker if I just taste it. Let's see. So... Okay, so he did lock the door. The wolf is dangerous. But there is no wolf, so that's a lie. Last night, your sister saw you leaving the house, Keith. You told me that your sister was a quiet type who rarely spoke, but she did talk to this girl here. I see. On top of that, it seems it was you who told her not to talk or go outside. In addition, not a single animal could be found around the whole town. So there's really no wolf, is there? So then why? Since it's dangerous it's outside, especially when strangers are in town. Haven't you seen someone attacked yourself? I didn't want her to see that kind of thing, nor to tell her about it. So about this vampire legend, you said you didn't know about it. But a book in the library has information about vampires. A diary, I suppose. The author seems to be one Gail Rigfire, a relative of yours, Shirley. And in this photo, in addition to Mr. Jail, that's you and your sister with your names written on the back as well. You have also evidently told your sister that there were no past records remaining. Yes, that is indeed my father's name, so the legend, it's real, certainly. We are descendants of the vampire family, and shouldn't you be leaving this town quickly? What do you mean by... Because it's a dark night tonight. Effie! Uh-oh. What happened? Leo! It's the same as that informant girl. Where'd he go? I saw him go outside. He was really fast. I couldn't catch him. No, that's fine. We have to follow. The cops should be fine. But feathers might be in danger. Alright. Let's go uh, check that. Oh. Seems sturdy. What the... Kinda feels like he's done this before, huh? Hey, let me that. Huh? That's my collar! That juice stuff is making it hard to see. Man, this is all sticky. Jeez! When we get to the next town, I'll buy you a new one. Okay! If the captains can meet up with feathers, that'll give me some relief, but... Wonder if there's any other exits. I think I know one! I just gotta figure out how to unlock it first. Alright, can I maybe... Nope. Okay, so I think wherever I'm going, it's in here. Uh, oh, maybe a book? A bo it has a bookmark. Nope, okay. A thick book. Alright, I need to... Lots of books. A book. Book. A book. A thick book. Maybe in the drawers? Various kinds of books. So we're at little things. Oh, okay. uh, maybe here an off kilter window. When okay, so I don't think there's anything in here. I, have I checked this book here? Um, all right, so I can't. So maybe a squeaky clean plate. Squeaky clean plate. So that's locked. Stuffed rabbit. Nothing inside. Nothing inside. Oh, there's candy here. Alright then, well there's not candy now. A key- oh! A key? Take the freaking key, dumb! 